units under 40% on defense shooting. Getting it underway. Now we set it up for what's at stake. Defense is going to get them there. Both teams really good runners, as you've said, Marusha. Great in transition. Her sloop eyes it up for the first time, knocks it down. And that's something the Aces have to pay attention to. Her coming off of that wing pick and roll is really what she likes to do. So the defense has got to be on top. Cambage and Dolson. Cambage trying to fight through it. Plum picks up the loose ball. Second opportunity. Oh, it's messy down there, Rue. Already super physical inside. Let's take a look at the lineup. Sloop, Quigley, Dolson, DeShields, and Lavender. No surprises for the Sky. As for the Aces, Asia still out, and so Derek Hamby still with the nod. Everything else remains the same. And so I look to this battle right here. Liz is back, and we're excited to have her, but she's going to have some tough work down low against Stephanie Dolson. Yep. Out two games with rest for Liz Cambage. The Shields looking for space. Dolson over the top. What a dish by Stephanie Dolson. And this Chicago Sky team may do well with the high low as well. The Aces are known for it, but this Chicago Sky team has been doing really well passing the ball. Yeah, Dolson to Lavender, deadly. I love the feel of this. Last year, we were about 10 days away from the end of the season at this point. This actually feels like a playoff game, even though there's plenty of room in, in the season to go. Slew, the other side. Oh, boy. Knocked down two already is Courtney Vandersloot. And that bounce helps the confidence. McBride, loose ball, and it does roll off the baseline. Rusha, take us through your opening tip. With these two teams, you see a lot of up and down, so tonight is going to be about running and gunning. You want to see who's going to be able to control the tempo, but take care of the basketball and not have those silly turnovers. Diamond to Shields. Hammy on the rebound. Jackie Young, a little shake and bake. Nothing falling for the Aces yet. Strong start for the Sky. Sky playing with some urgency. Lavender outside. You can see the point guards down there battling for the rebound. James Wade, the head coach of the Chicago Sky, asked him what's been most challenging for him this year. He said, look, as an assistant, you have one job. That's your job. He said, as a head coach, you're thinking about this one's not playing defense. This one's in foul trouble. There's so many things to manage. But he feels like chemistry and culture that they spent time on for the Sky at the beginning of the year has been the key to their recent success. Liz Cambage, second time. The battle. Only three minutes into the game, and she and Stephanie are really going at it. I asked James Wade before the game a couple of keys. He said one of them was to make Liz Cambage uncomfortable. I said, how do you do that? And he goes, man, I don't know. <laughs> Bill Lambert, head coach of the Las Vegas Aces. His team has gotten stronger and stronger as long as they take care of the ball. They have three turnovers already, Rusha. And you cannot let that be the system that runs through this Aces team tonight. They've got to take care of the ball. And the coach expresses that every day, that you have got to have that possession. Hand on Dolson. Look at the work. Stephanie Dolson. This is for two from Lavender. From inside out to outside in, they play really well off of one another. Foul is on Stephanie Dolson. She and Slute and Cambage each have one.
Ooh, long pass over some long arms. Plum back to Cambay. She's away from the basket. You talk about uncomfortable. Pushing her away. Ooh. Loose ball, a lot of steps. Diamond to Shields. Jackie Young running. Rookie's got Slewitt on her hip. Or Quigley, excuse me, on her hip. Great defensive pressure by the Aces. Not able to convert. Vanderslip right around over the top. Great arc right over the outstretched arm of Liz Candage. And she's really smart and pays attention to where the defense is. Things not going the way that Bill Lambeer wants enough that he calls a timeout. Ten point lead for the Sky early first quarter. Courtney Vandersloop already found herself a role in cluing over the top of Cam Beige. Courtney Vandersloop averages ten points per game. She's already got eight four minutes in. You see a level of aggression and confidence with this team. Hamby fighting for it. A lot of missed shots, though, for the Aces. They're one for seven from the floor. And they're getting no easy looks at the basket. Everything is contested, and they're facing some physical activity. Diamond Shields. Back and forth she goes. There's five seconds on the shot clock. Quigley looks for it. Lavender. It's good. And it's just the little things. You see at the end of that second, Vanderslew set that minor screen just to give Lavender an easy look at that basket. Sky are six of nine from the floor, three of six from deep. As compared to the Aces, have not taken an outside shot yet and are one of seven. Oh, long arm, Vanderslew. Just watching Vanderslew's eyes. Sleet's eyes are everywhere. It's four turnovers for the Aces. Quickly. Uncontested pass in. No good. Game's moving at a quick pace. Sleet's hands. Nothing going down for the Aces. There's a takeaway. Liz Cambay is waiting for it. It's the first turnover for the Sky. McBride for three. Got knocked, too. Diamond the Shields battling down low, trying to get the rebound over Liz Cambage. Not able to come away with it. She comes away with the foul. Tamara Young in now. For the Aces, over to Hamby. Nearly thrown away, Kelsey Plum grabs it before it goes out, takes a look at the clock, had to take a shot. Dolson, long ball. That's the fourth one the Sky have hit. And they do an excellent job of penetrating and kicking the ball back out because it caused the defense to shrink in. 16 point lead for the Sky. Just over six minutes in. Ooh, and that gets bottled. Slut and Dolson looking for a travel. Vanderslut, no look over to Dolson. Back out to Lavender. Another long ball, no good. Chicago shooting 50% from beyond the arc. Liz Cambage in. And one. Liz has been feeling that contact. She was able to guard the ball and shield the ball with her left side of her body and get it up with that right hand. It's the and one, but it's also the second foul on Stephanie Dolson. And that changes the dynamics of that inside-outside play from the Chicago Sky. Plum going to get a rest. Sydney Colson coming in. 
and Dolson going to get a rest, an unwanted rest. Away. Kim Bays, by the way, three of five. The rest of the team is 0 for 7. She's the only one who scored. Diamond DeShields, not afraid, attacking the basket, going full steam ahead at Liz Kim Bays. Liz is knocking it into the front row. Liz, top five in the league in blocking. Blocks. Sloot mugged on her way up. Sydney Colson respectfully disagrees. Of course. <laughs> but Courtney Vanderson is such a threat. She can shoot the ball so well that you have to play her tight and chase her, but she's also smart enough to curl on certain plays. Luke makes both of them. Lead back up to 14. Sydney Colson changing speeds. Great looks for a reverse. Candy, loose ball. Candy. Colson, other than Candy, on the aces to score. And her energy and always being in the right place at the right time definitely gives her an advantage. That's the way to draw the foul. <laughs> Foul's on Kayla McBride. You see Sydney Colson trying to get to the basket. Dierica in the right place at the right time. Williams entering now for Chicago. Sky are perfect from the stripe, 4-4. Four 50% four. from beyond the arc, 4 of 8. And 53% shooting from the floor. It's pretty sweet. And they've turned the aces over four times. McBride in and out. That is an unkind bucket right now. The level of intensity on defense by the Sky challenging everything for the Aces. And then they come back on offense and do an even better job of getting to the basket. Back out here, Cheyenne Parker. You're all alone. Shot clock violation. Coach Lane Beer is trying everything to get some spark for his team. Including putting a little sugar on it. Sugar Rogers just entering the game now. The only starter still in the game is Dierica Hamby. Carolyn Swords in as well. Tamara Young. That'll go. And the crowd appreciates it. shot no good sugar the long rebound to Tamara Young uh oh that ill-advised Gabby Williams over to Diamond to Shields sugar is going to get the foul and that's an and one the Chicago Sky team is aggressive going strong to the basket no matter who's standing underneath Diamond attacked Liz, she'll attack Sugar, anybody who's down there, she contests and makes the referee have to make a decision. James Wade has loved the focused effort defensively by Diamond to Shields. Converting there and one. Look, the Sky's helping themselves in every way possible. And it's all about details. They're in the right place at the right time. Can we young shot no good? 
the box out for Chicago. Everybody's getting a hand on the ball, hands in the passing lane, staying in front of the dribbler, making it tough for the Aces to get any good look at the basket. It has been a rough first quarter for the Aces. Hold on, some of the lights out in the arena. The scoreboards that are around the arena are out. Jumbotron still good. This has not been the first quarter that the Aces have wanted. Certainly, they're shooting 27% from the field. They're 0 for 3 from beyond the arc. They've turned it over five times. Sky team has been kind of building over the last few weeks. James Wade said, look, before the All-Star break, we just focused on ourselves. We weren't really preparing for opponents as much as we were for ourselves. He said, I think chemistry plus accountability equals culture. That's what they focused upon. It's all showing now. And it does, and they were able to pick up some wins, and despite it being against New York and Indiana and teams of that sort that are closer to the bottom, that builds confidence because you learn to play well and play the right way. And they certainly look sharp in this first quarter. Tamara Young, denied. Foul. Copper, a little hot about it. Extended arm, got a little bit on the body on the penetration. Ty Young in her 12th season, just pointing. Yep. Young spent a, a lot of years with the sky. Played with Quigley and Sloot and Stephanie Dolson. Important conversion for Tamara Young from the line. Now the Aces will have a chance to play some good defense and potentially get a stop. Samuelson. The Aces are going to slow it down and get this last play in. Final possession of the first quarter. Cameron Young, found some space, made the most of it. Ty Young, six points, and she came in, really gave the Aces a boost. But Courtney Vandersloot, already a double-figure scoring through the first quarter. Ten points for Sloot. Sky looking strong. These are the numbers coming into the game. Opposite the track, Chicago, a great shooting team. Vegas' defense has been on point this season, but tonight, not so much. Take a look at the numbers through the first quarter. Right here, Chicago is showing that great offense beats average defense because the Aces have not been able to stop them. Aces shooting has not come together yet either. Williams, rise up for two. You need to see a different level of confidence. They're not worried about the play. It's whoever is open is taking the shot. Cambay is calling. Mm -hmm. trying to figure something out defensively and get a better look. Liz Cambage and De'Erica Hamby trying to figure it all out. The good news in that exchange, Rusha, really is the engaged conversation. There is great communication amongst this team. Everybody, you feel it in practice all the time. They are all rowing in the same direction. And everybody knows there's a goal that they have for one another. When somebody's off track, you've got to work to get together and get back focused. Samuelson, just off the mark. The foul is on
Cambi looks up for it into Liz Cambage. Cambage around Dolson. Cambi knows for the ball and the rebound. Sidney Colson looking for a little good there. The one thing the Aces are doing better than the Sky, they're out rebounding the Sky. That's the only number, but with that last rebound, pulls the boards even. Another one for two. Williams just knocking him down now. And you gotta credit the bigs for setting excellent screens and getting their guards open. Sugar! Well needed basket for the Aces. I watched Sugar shoot around right before the game. She missed one shot out of 12. That's the first ball from deep hit for the Aces today. They got work to do. It was a good start. In North, picks up another foul for a second. Got Dolson with two and Indoor with two. And the physicality of the Las Vegas Aces on the inside is going to help put them in a better position as the game progresses because the bigs are in trouble. Ball stays with the Aces. Over the top, foot speed from Derek Hamby over to Sugar. Sugar for two. She'll take it. Even inside the arc. She's Why am I so it. close to the basket? 17 feet, she must feel she's right on top of it. Quickly. Off the mark, aces with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. It was about to be off to the races, ball out of bounds, off the fingertips of Kelsey Plum. Another turnover for the Aces. Makes number six. Around the perimeter, go the sky quickly. She's got room to breathe. Oh, didn't hit that one. It's a shocker. She's human after all. And Sugar doing it on both ends of the court, playing defense and stunned for the rebound, getting knocked out of the air, gaining a possession for her team. I had a good conversation with Bill Lambert before the game about Sugar, and he said, look, she taught herself to be a WNBA player. I said, what does that mean? And he goes, it took her two years to really learn solid defense. First year he didn't have her, second year he had her over the Liberty. And he said, but he really respected the way that Sugar worked. Because you could always shoot. She needed to be a greater defender, a better defender, and he said she worked on it hard. There's a chance for the Aces to cut the lead to single digits. Sugar for three. Yes! And the goal, the bounce for Sugar. And right now, she's exactly what this Aces team needs. And Sugar sprinkling eight points quickly, slew. Working the ball inside to Jantel Lavender and changing the conversation. You see the patience with their offense. They watch for the traps. Over to Carolyn Swords. Loose ball, Liz Cambage, section cuts in her hands. Cambage, double figure scoring, she's got 10. And this Aces team continues to fight on offense and defense and on the boards, trying to get the best look as possible. Liz, those long arms outstretched over three Chicago Sky players. Cambage making it a three-point play. The lead that was 18. Now cut. Lavender. Now 
actually the lead was 17 was the biggest lead. Put some sugar on it. The only thing wrong is she didn't think shot first. <laughs> she was looking to pass it. She catches it in rhythm. Ace is on a 17 to six run. Sweet can shoot it from all the way out there, by the way. FYI, for three. Long rebound, Gab, or Cheyenne Parker turns around. Mismatch in the style, we're able to take advantage of Cheyenne Parker down there. She had sugar and pulled her out just a little bit to get that shot off. Pressure. She is ready for all the action tonight as Liz Candage. Quigley had two aces in front of her. The Shields had some room. Strong run by the aces to cut this lead. Well, things weren't going so well for Las Vegas, and so Liz Cambage fighting inside, and they sprinkled a little sugar on it as well. Cambage has done some tough work already. She's going to wake up with a few bruises tomorrow. It's been super physical down low in the paint. First she's battling Dolson, then Parker, then Lavender. They come at her from every direction, but she is up for the challenge. Six points in the first quarter for Cambage. She's added another seven. The eight points from Sugar Rogers, a huge help. Now we're back to Plum. Kayla McBride in. Travel. Turnover. It's the fourth for the sky. And the ace is able to play great defense, collapse on that penetration, and not allow the kick out. She got stuck and ended up traveling. Inside the Cambage. Diamond to Shields gets a little part of it. And her athleticism, she, she goes for it on <laughs> offense and defense. Kelsey Plum raises her hand for the foul. The Plummets are first. Diamond to Shields going hard to the basket. Kelsey Plum saying, not on my watch. Take it from the line. It was worth it. That's, the, that's that luck. And the shield's going to convert anyway. Yeah. 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 Liz coming across the paint and getting checked. Elbows to the chest. It's going to be an Instagram story worth following tomorrow. Liz Cambage in the ice bath. She converted again to the line. Done by Cam Beige, 15 points. Courtney Vandersloot had those 10 points in the first quarter. She has not scored in the second. Of course, she's mostly a passer typically, but boy, they left her open in the first quarter. She made them pay. And surprisingly, Quigley not able to get on the board. Still. McBride for three. We had a pretty arc, no good though. And Beige back in the This is what she is. Absorbing the pressure. She put it in reverse and moved her around. Gentile Lavender with Cam Beige right on top of her. Uh-oh. 
And the Sky do a great job of that baseline penetration to having a guard or somebody cut to the basket for an easy layup. Right there, it was Diamond to Shields. Foul was on Tamara Young, Jackie Young back in now. Wow. <laughs> Diamond to Shields, come on now. Like she's at the playground. A little English off the backboard. There's an opportunity for another and one. This time the foul is on Jackie Young. The Shields is six for six from the free throw line. Inside. Boy, it's tough work. Stephanie Dolson doing a nice job there with Liz Cambage. Cambage making everybody pay. Lavender. Quietly. The inside out. You can't emphasize enough how important it is to relocate. The drive shot no good. Put back is great. Good look at the basket for Kayla McBride and Liz there to clean it up. Diamond to Shields. She's knocking it down. She's perfect from the stripe. Has a nice shot. Little and one. Things looking strong a little tighter though. Seven point lead for the sky. Without Liz Cambage the last two games, she got some rest. It's showing today. She has scored this team's last 11 points, Rusha. And you see the look on her face. She's so focused. Normally she's laughing and playing, but she's got a stern look on her face, and she is about business. Well, her other half, the best front court in the league, Asia Wilson, out still with an ankle injury. Liz Cambage getting a lot. Pressure down low. There's Stephanie Dolson at the line. And not the normal production from Derek and Hand. She usually comes in, has great rebound, great energy. Only two shots for her tonight. Can't be coming around. Here's Liz Cambage. Travel as she looked up at the rim. A little stutter step. And there you saw De'Erica Hamby standing at the top of the basket, not sure who she should pass it to. So that just shows there's not much rhythm in their offense. Move back up to nine. It was as large as 17 at one point for the sky. Dolson. Inside, all the way over to Shields. No good. Bride got a hand up. Oh dear. Hamby, long arm, trying to find. She does. She made it work. A long pass, almost out of bounds, able to pull it in and maneuver around the defense. Second chance. Diamond to Shields. Great rebound. Slip looks at it. And then assist to Copper. The cutting to the basket has been a real benefit for the Chicago Sky team. Whenever somebody gets the ball and gets stuck, somebody cuts. Talking about cutting. Final minute of the first half. Chicago came out hot to start this game. Aces recovered, though, had a nice, strong run. To tighten it back up, Dolson, good work. Puts her at seven points. Foul is on Copper there, it's her second.
called her a little too aggressive on the inbounds. Kayla McBride asking if that foul was before the ball came in. Clock has been readjusted now to 41.2 seconds. Aces is in the bonus, Jackie Young at the line. She has not scored yet. Took care of it there. Take a look at the foul again. And it was before the ball was inbounded. First two points of the game for Jackie Young. Chicago taking a timeout to set it up. Aces had to dig themselves out of a very large hole, but have never quite caught the sky. Mannersley started off this game scoring 10 points in the first quarter for Courtney Vandersloot. Now, hey, if you're going to give me room to breathe, she's going to take it and knock it down. And just inside the huddle, the Aces are talking about what this next defensive play needs to look like and how they can turn it around and get something good on offense. Coach Lambier is drawing up a play already. Courtney Vandersloot, of course, led the WNBA in assists last season. She leads them again now. Talking with Tamara Young, her former teammate now on the Aces about Sloot. She says, look, don't even try to read the pass. Don't try to pick her pass. It's never going where you think it's going. She's slippery. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rusha, you had mentioned De'Erica Hamby, Courtney Vandersloot having her way with the sky and Hamby, and the ace is not able to get the production they needed. Hamby last time around had 14 points versus the sky. There's Hamby. Nobody in front. Bomb. Stripped. The ball remains with the aces. Thirty seconds remaining. Fighting for it, Hamby. Chantel Lavender ends up with it, though. And Scott can come up with the last possession of the game of the half. It's a missed opportunity for the Aces. No, no look to Dolson. Dolson, no good. There's still time, but it's got to be the half-court shot. Jackie, go! McBride! Well, she talks about the offensive boards. The Aces did have nine O boards to the skies, too, so that was part of their success, according to Coach Kelly Raymond. And the first time that the Aces played against the Sky, that was an emphasis because the Sky did a great job on the offensive boards. Neither Kelsey Plum nor Allie Quigley has scored yet. Kayla McBride getting things started for the Aces, second half. And that was a set play with Liz and Kelsey, Liz and Kayla playing on that side together in order to get a good look at the basket. Diamond Shields baseline drive, bang! Attack, attack, attack. This young lady is fearless. Does not matter who's under the goal. Shields just knocking it down. She's got 11 points. Seven of those are from the strike. She's seven of seven in the free throw line. 
making all that physical work pay off. Just perfect. Jackie Young looking for a second bucket, no good. Ooh, ripping that down. The rookie and Sleuth. Vander Sleuth able to hold on. Jackie got a, a step on her. Just put it up there just a little too hard off the backboard. Jackie's strong, too. Jackie is very strong. So Sleuth was very lucky that she didn't go flying. Playing Sleuth around. Jackie gets the tip over to Kayla. Cambage. Yes, she did. And another and one and the sneer. Because she's talking about how physical it is, and she understands she's got to play through it. And sometimes the referees don't always blow the whistle, so she's got to be focused on scoring the basket, not just getting the foul. 19 first-half points for Liz Cambage. She's now tied her season high at 22. And they have needed every single point just to stay close. Diamond to Shields, rise up, no good. Frustrated with that air ball. No, she got a good look at the basket. Right here, the energy of this crowd for the Aces is going to pick up. See what the whistle is. The battle down low with Liz Candace and Stephanie Dolson. For Dolson, that's her third foul. Over to Jackie Young, found some space and second the glass, second bucket of the game. Actually, first bucket of the game for Jackie Young. Her other points were from the strike. Absolutely. Plum chasing him. Lavender. Got some space. And a late rotation over on the Aces defense. Jackie Young, how about it? She sees that she has a size advantage with the guards here. She has got to continue to go at them. Luke cutting inside, mugged by Kelsey Plum. Jackie Young getting involved. Liz Cambage looking for her. You see, everybody wants to help because Liz Cambage is such a threat. She's done a great job. Now she gets it on her own. Bodied up and right over the top of Anderson. so crafty, shooting outside of her body because she knows the six, eight arms of Liz Cambage is there. There's a wingspan there to be contend with. Derek Hamby, looking for the reverse, doesn't go. Slope for three, no good. Uh-oh, diamond to Shields. So Kayla McBride picks it up. Plum, take the shot for three. The hesitation, just a great open look. Will fall for Plum. Her defense, though, all over. Quickly, Sleuth. That's where Plum has really made the biggest strides this year. She has maximized her opportunities in other places. She hasn't been able to find her scoring mojo, but she definitely plays better defense and looks for her teammates. Plum out, Sydney Colson in. Bill Lambeer talking about Kelsey Plum before the game said she can teach herself anything. She's incredibly smart. Quickly. Oh, bumped by McBride right after. Right on top of the shot. Quigley looking at her first chance to get a couple of points on the board. She's 0 for 4 from the floor.
Makes the most of her time at the line, does Allie Quigley. And for a shooter, it's really important to see the ball go through the hoop. So even with two free throws, that could impact how she scores later on. Liz Cambage from away from the basket. Diamond to Shields. Good Lord, I thought that was going to go down too, to Shields. Having a great day, Dolson up on top of tiny Sidney Colson. And everybody's looking for Liz. Liz was cut, or lead was cut to two. Lavender. And here's Dolson. No good. Look at Dolson, Dolson covering her face. And another example of what happens when you're not shooting without thinking. She caught the ball and she was open. Take the shot. The hesitation that it had gave her. Sky started this game hot from beyond the arc. Four of seven since then. 0 for 12 from deep. What happened? McBride. Here's Kim Beige. Bodies all over. No good. Aces basketball. Erica Hamby, not necessarily scoring the way she wants, just four points, but she does have seven rebounds. And her energy right now is necessary for this team because she usually does so much defensively and on the board. Colson with Sloot alongside her. No good. Liz Cambage rebound. No foul. Hopper back over to Dolson. Hot potato back again. Uh oh. That battle has been fun to watch. It is Cambage and Stephanie Dolson. Fourth foul on Stephanie Dolson. Liz Cambage's face. Cambage is a GoPro just pointed at her face. <laughs> so fun to watch. If you don't understand basketball, just watch her face and she'll tell you everything that's going on with it her. It tells the whole story. Dolson frustrated, visibly. Ty Young, no good. Ball movement, slid to Quigley. Excellent back pick and an easy layup to the basket. Not enough time to adjust. Hamby, why not? There's a whole other game happening underneath the basket with Liz Cambage and whoever's guarding her. And I think when you spoke to Coach James Wade about how do you make Liz uncomfortable, physicality is clearly their approach because they have been battling underneath. It doesn't matter if it was Dolson or Parker or Lavender. Everybody is going at it. You see Liz down here trying to box out arms and legs and body parts flailing everywhere. Lead back up to eight. <laughs> Liz Cambage, little conversation. The refs discussing how many fouls to decide whether she's shooting or not. Takedown on the weak side. 
little UFC happening on the floor of the Mandalay Bay Event Center. So that one will be the fifth foul. Kayla McBride will go to the line. For Kalia Copper, that's her third. Nope, not to the line yet. Here's Hamby. Sydney Colson back over to Tamara Young. Two seconds, shots gotta go up. It was worth the wait. And Jericho looked everywhere to try and pass it, then finally took. Uh oh. Chantel Lavender hopping off the floor. Didn't see what happened. We're gonna step away while. She hobbles off. A beautiful night in Vegas. WNBA basketball. Six-point game. Shortly before the break, we saw Jantel Lavender kind of hobbling off the court. They're working on her ankle on the sideline. Meanwhile, third quarter action continues. Marcia, what has stood out to you in the second half of play so far? Just right now, the Aces are really working hard in the physicality, but now they're learning how to play with it. Some ball movement inside. Tamara Young with a bucket. Cross court. Quigley to Williams for three. No good. But look at Kalia Copper. Love the effort. Slew. Again, no good. And the offensive boards has been a problem, but the Aces have found a way to get down the court and transition is important for them to do this Lee cut to two once again. Frenetic defense. Liz Cambage knocks that ball loose. Oh no! The run and gun. And everybody on the Aces bench standing up. Because the building would have exploded. But De'Erica Hamby into Liz Cambage. They played so well together. Cambage with a season high 24 points. Another opportunity for the Aces to tie it up. Sydney Colson slowed it down. Hamby denied inside, but there's a foul. Young inside the weak side coming over. Diane Parker, great job of getting her just on the wrist. Fourth foul for Cheyenne Parker. Hammy making it work. Carolyn Swords in. Liz Cambage getting a little rest. And just like that. The first time in this game, three minutes remaining in the third quarter. And as tough a game as it's been for the Aces, and as well as Chicago has played, they end up brand new ball game. Five seconds on the clock. And the hustle by the Las Vegas Aces. Rotation. The initial call was Aces basketball, but the officials taking a moment, talking it over. They stay with the call. Aces have never led in this game. With this possession, if they score, I am sure the house will go crazy.
Sydney Colson over to Tamara Young. Back out to Hamby. Derricka Hamby looking hard for it. And Williams gets tagged with the foul. It's her third. Right now, Coach James Wade asking the ref exactly what the difference is on both ends of the court. Hamby to give the Aces their first lead of the game. Not yet. Aces lead. Fighting off a 17-point deficit. Now the Sky need to produce if they want to go home with a win. But the Aces are incredibly tough to beat at home. There's Parker inside. This guy responds. Cheyenne Parker really smart about what she just did. She saw Carolyn Swords coming out at her a little slower of foot and able to take her to the basket, get the step, and use her body to shield the basketball. That's the third foul on Swords. Parker at the line. Time to sprinkle a little sugar on it. And the ride out. Sugar Rogers in. Fans love Sugar Rogers. Everybody knows what she's out here to do. 77% of Sugar's points are scored beyond the arc. Woo! Oh, dear. And you hate to see Sydney Colson take a shot to the head. You know, she suffered from a concussion earlier in the year. And Diane Parker, too. Looks like she took the brunt of that head-to-head -head combat. Oh. Sydney at the line. Colton's first point of the game. Sydney trying to split the defenders. Oh, Anderson got on the front end. Parker got on the back end. She ended up being like a ping pong table. <laughs> hit both. Nice conversion at the line for Sydney Colson. Now picks up another two points. And now we're on a seesaw. Back and forth they go with the lead. Ty in the right place, but not able to gather herself quick enough to make that a turnover. Not thinking quick enough to get out of the way. That's that 12 years of experience right there. Hammy. Hope to draw a foul. Did not. Uh-oh. Wick. Coach Lynn here is livid, trying to understand the inconsistency in the calls. Fouls on Sugar. Copper at the line. Copper's first trip to the free throw line. Hughes is going up. Sugar straight Ooh. up. Sky have been outstanding from the free throw line. 88% from the strike, 16 of 18. Tamara Young trying to go all the way in. No good. Colson. Back out to Sugar. And she penetrated, made that little steal, has to respond. And Sugar is in her spot, waiting. Diane Parker.
Parker with the advantage. Foot speed getting to the basket. Sugar! Sugar Rogers, even that one got her to smile. Her last two days of practice, she has been knocking shots down. She comes in early, she stays late to work out, and right before practice, I watched her shoot 12 shots, only missed one. Well, she's only missed two in the game. How about that? Sugar, the pass to Swords, no good. This is the ace's largest lead of the game on their side of things, plus four. Loose ball, picked up by the aces. Plenty of time. Copper all over. She doesn't want to be in the Sugar Rogers highlight reel. No, you don't. To get the foul off of Katie Lou Samuelson. And right underneath the arms of Samuelson. Hamby, <laughs> three of four from the strike. Not able to convert on this first one. Much prettier second time around. Hamby double figure scoring 10 points. Uh oh, slew. Surrounded by aces. Right there, everybody started coming to the basket and then everybody converged. Four seconds on the shot clock. Four seconds remaining in the third quarter. Oh, Copper got a step on Sugar, trying to give it back to her. And here, Carolyn Swartz tried to get in. Sugar Rogers, a little bit behind her. Third foul for Sugar. Copper knocking it down. That's her fourth point of the game, two of three from the line. a half makes after the Chicago Sky led the entire first half third quarter action Aces started to move the basketball a little bit better share it a little better and then Sugar Rogers started knocking it down Sugar's got three fouls though and they want her for those long balls quickly two seconds on the shot clock no good but the long rebound, Dierka Hamby. My ball. And the post leading the fast break, looking for contact, and it's not there. So you have to make an adjustment in how you play. You see the refs are not calling. Them. Williams, underneath to Dolson, beautiful dish. That baseline penetration brings a weak side cutter, slashing to the basket. 
And WrestleMania continues. See <laughs> Liz Cam Page and Stephanie Dawson. Ball popped away. Great hands by Sydney Colson. Here's the turnover, and then Ty Young takes it to the right. She flexes her muscles, being so strong, going to the basket. Double figure scoring for Ty Young. She joins Sugar Rogers, Derek Hamby, and Liz Cambage in the Aces. Four players, double figures. For the Sky, the Shields, Lavender, and Vandersloot, same story. Chicago sharing the ball well. They're always looking for one another, and they read one another so well, the relocation. Here, Ty Young said, I'll just take matters into my own hand. Going in between the two, getting it up high off the glass. Finishing with a flex. Sidney Colson with the pressure. Williams mug. If you're going to foul, you make sure they don't score the basket. <laughs> Sugar Rogers and Cam Beige having a discussion away from the free throw line as Gabby Williams there. Ten points for Courtney Vandersloot in the first quarter. Just two since then. Allie quickly. Four points, none from deep. 0 for 2 from beyond the arc for Quigley. Great crossover and dish. The ball movement for the Sky team <laughs> is incredible. They make their defense have to work. Let's take a look at the upcoming WNBA national TV schedule tomorrow on CBS Sportsnet. It's Atlanta visiting Indiana at 3 p.m. Eastern time. And then Sunday on ESPN, it's Vegas on a weekend. Connecticut and the Aces, 6 o'clock Eastern time. Let's talk about that for half a second. Connecticut and Aces, two of the top teams in the league. That's going to be something. Connecticut is playing really well. And without Asia Wilson, this Aces team is going to have to figure out a way to match up and with their intensity. Yeah, and Bill Lambeer said the other day publicly after the half of basketball that was played that it's still going to be a little while for Asia Wilson. on struggle today against Minnesota, so plenty to prove as they come here into the house on Sunday. Great hustle by the Aces on defense. Shots up, big bounce, no good. McBride over to Hamby. Hamby had the room to breathe. Adjust her headband after taking a swipe. But coming through strong. Such great post play. Mercia game is going back and forth, back and forth. What's going to make the difference in this fourth quarter? Push one ahead of the other. Turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. You have got to protect the ball and make sure you get great looks at the basket. Sky have 14 turnovers, resulting in 10 points right now. Ace is 11 turnovers, but also resulting in 10 points. And the Ace is lucky right there. Ty Young almost had a turnover, but luckily Kayla McBride was right there to pick it up. De'Ara Kahami had a little room to breathe, went all the way in. Meanwhile, McBride going to the line after being fouled here. Quigley's first foul. And it's McBride's first trip to the free throw line. How about this? Our 
statistician just pointed out to me that McBride changed her shoes at halftime. Clearly, they weren't working for her. She came back out. She's getting a few more looks at the basket and trips to the line. That is a really good eye, Jeff. Nice job. If Jeff is really good, he'd tell me what size those shoes are. But that is kind of good, right? Well, oh. Yep, that's Hamby picking up that foul. Six women of the year, why? Because she does it all. She's such an impressive scorer, and she looks for her teammates, able to pass the ball and get everybody involved. With Asia Wilson out, Hamby has done incredible work. Six seconds remaining on the shot clock, trying to go into Stephanie Dolson. Uh oh My bad, says Stephanie Dolson. We're going to step away. It's about moving that fast on the floor inside Mandalay Bay. for the Aces, trying to extend it a little more. Ty Young with the rebound. Uh oh batted away by Sleuth. Picked up by Quigley. Turnovers. You cannot give up extra possessions. You have got to take care of the ball. It is precious. And right there, an easy layup. Yeah, and the Skies had trouble with that. Second half, they turned it over 11 times for the Aces. That was their fourth since the half. Wilson down, protecting her head. Everybody's going to be bruised and banged up after this game. The level of physicality is unmatched. And you see the faces of both the post players. That was the fourth foul for Liz Cambage. Dolson now in double figure scoring as well for Sky Player to have double figure scoring. They've been out standing from the line, I mentioned it before. But they're 24 of 27 from the free throw line, 88% the Sky out. Think of the most of those opportunities. Inside, Cambage. And going up to the contact, finishing the shot instead of just looking for the foul. Diamond Shields for a closer look. Right there, a little hesitation on the rotation. Tied up again. Under five minutes remaining. Ball poke loose. Hamby for three. Right now, a battle of who can take care of the ball and get the best look at the basket. Oh, dear. Bouncing off Tamara Young, big time. A bemused look on Bill Lambeer's face. I'm not going to say what he's thinking. I have no idea. I'll just gather he thinks that Ty beat her to the spot. How about that? We'll go with that one. Okay. Amongst other things. The Shields. It at work. Jackie Young back in. Tamara Young takes a break. Good work by DeShields. You can tell the Sky team spends plenty of time at the free throw line. I mean, it's terrific. I mean, they're 89.7%. Second opportunity. And all of the 
Aces holding their hands up afraid that a ref is going to call a foul. Nice crossover by Kayla McBride. And for two, no good. How about a little closer? No good. Hamby, third time to try. Here comes the fourth. Time out. Bill Lambeer shouting at every fan in the house. Heard it. The battle in the paint between these two has been intense. Both need an ice bath afterwards. It has been something to witness. Kelsey Plum back in now. Turnover by the Aces. The game is so tight and so little time left. A drawn up play and the Aces turn the ball over. Dolson for three. It's good. That's a big one. Roshi, you told us at the beginning this game was important. Why? The way that this defense is playing and offense in Chicago has put themselves in a place to be in the playoffs. It's a matchup. Right now, the Aces could win. So one and one. The tiebreaker. Two and a half minutes remaining in the game. Sky, plus one. Sloop, passing inside. Hamby, trying to defend. A conversion by the Sky. Nice, patient penetration. Getting the ball down low and going to the basket. Jackie Young knocking it down. Right on time. Getting to that elbow and knocking it down. It's not going to get any easier for the Aces after this. Connecticut is coming in. they got to get these wins when they can. And this one will go either way. Hamby on top of, top of it. Dolson. Ball over to Plum. McBride behind the back. That's Aces basketball. And you see Erica Hamby and Diamond Shields battling down low. Always fun to watch those two. They played on the same AAU team when they were in high school down in Atlanta. So those battles have come from a way, way back. Picked up a pivot foot, and right there, the defense from Chicago did a great job of playing that inbound play. They know what they're looking for, and able to keep their man in the passing lane. That was not the shot that the ACC could get from that. Sloop, looking for it. Dolson inside. All movement. Jackie Young, second effort, she's so strong. And that's the advantage she has. She has got to make sure she takes Vanderstoot to the basket and then follows her own shot. Because help comes from everywhere. Stephanie Dolson with her fifth. Minute 10 to play. Young at the line. Jackie Young has been terrific. Kelsey Plum subbed out. Sydney Colson back in. Coach Lambert looking for a combination to give him the defense that he needs. Ten points for Jackie Young. Four for four from the free throw line. One point lead for the Sky. One minute remaining. Back out, Quigley. Quigley has not made a long ball today. They're saying no bucket. Raise it off. No basket. Defensive intensity by the Aces. And Chicago not able to get that shot off in time. We're going to look at it.
This is what the officials are looking at. It looks like the ball is still in her hand when the light goes off. This is such a big game for Chicago. All the officials are taking a look at it because the second half of their season, most of it is spent on the road. They've spent their time at home already. They leave Vegas and play Los Angeles back to back, once at home, once on the road, and then once at home. And back here in Vegas. Referees still taking their time to look at it and see. In the hand when the clock goes. And they are gesturing that it was as called the shot clock expiration. Sugar Rogers on the floor, Liz Cambage, Derek Hamby, Kayla McBride, and Jackie Young. Sugar Rogers out here with the starters. McBride for three. Cambage. Jump ball. This can be able to pull that rebound right over her head with Stephanie Dolson waiting for her to tie her up. This Chicago team does not get up, give up. They have plenty of fight in them. New team does. Look at this. He's just gathering around Liz Cambage, quick conversation. Inside to Liz Cambage, mugged again, oh my! Turnovers, right there, Chicago did an excellent job of collapsing on Liz Cambage. She had three people around her, not sure where her teammates were, and nobody readjusted to that corner to give her a look. Ace is gonna take a minute to talk about it. <laughs> the Chicago Sky team that won 13 games last season. And they are surpassing that this year. And you know, Coach James Wade had some pieces when he came in, and he just added, like you mentioned, the culture of execution and hard work and just making sure that they are doing the little things. And this team has lost some games, but they have been tough in all their competitions. Yeah, and they've already tied last year's win total at 13. I really like what he had said there. Meanwhile, for Liz Cambage, it has been so tough inside. You can see the exhaustion on her face. Fatigue just setting in. Just the arms, hands everywhere, body parts. Just such a physical game. James Wade said chemistry plus accountability equals culture. He pointed out how many of his players came out to the All-Star game to support their teammates. They had special shirts. You know, I watched them in the stands, and they, and they were excellent. And that supports the 
Harris, and you can tell they're all in this together. 21.5 seconds remaining, one point lead for the sky. got to her for the foul. Sydney Colson saying, I hit her. Coach Lambeer yelling, foul, foul. Sydney was trying. Sydney Colson says she hit her. Sloat knocking it down. It's both. Now this Aces team has to draw up a play and execute because they are down three. They need this basket. Not just the two, but they gotta have a three. They gotta have a three. And you can't trust it going into the post and look for an and one. No. Because they have not been the calls tonight. Everybody in the arena knows it. Aces need a three. Bill Lambeer huddled, drawing it up. So right now it's about execution. I'm sure somebody's going to have to come off the screen, so the post is going to have to get a body on whomever they're trying to get over. We got Kayla McBride, Sugar Rogers. Certainly Jackie and Dierica as well. And uh -oh. eight and seconds they, remaining. And they Five seconds. A long ball by Kayla McBride. No good. Sugar, let's go. Sky, hang on to win. They did a great job of defending that play. They knew.